Good morning, everybody. I'm so glad that you joined me for Sunday School today. Have any of you ever moved? Moved out of your home into another home? If you have, how was that? Do you remember how it felt when you left one home and moved into another home? Maybe left one school and moved to a new school? One neighborhood and moved to a new neighborhood? Maybe you've never done that before, but you can imagine how that might feel. I know we all know people who have done that. So today, our, our Bible story that we're going to read, the verses that we're going to hear, talk about how God has compassion for people who are having a hard time. People who are powerless. People who um, are homeless. People called immigrants. You'll hear that word in the scripture. And these are people, groups of people who have moved to a new place. But oftentimes, they have a hard time. They may be moving to a new country, but they don't have a home to move to yet. Or they may be moving to a new country and they don't know the language. Can you imagine doing that? Moving to a place that didn't speak English or the language that you know? That would be pretty difficult, wouldn't it? We're going to hear about um, what God has to say about immigrants in particular, but really anyone who is struggling and um, maybe feeling alone and sad. So we're going to hear from um, the book of Deuteronomy. Isn't that a, kind of a funny name? Deuteronomy. It's in the Old Testament. So it's before Jesus was born. And I'm going to read these verses to you. It's from Deuteronomy 10 verses 12 through 22. And here's what it says. Hey, people, what is it God wants from you? Just this, your reverence, your faithfulness, your love, your dedication, and for you to obey the commandments. They're for your own good. All the sky and all the stars belong to God, the earth and everything in it. And listen, God chose you, your people, your ancestors, and your children, you. Do not cut yourself off from God. Soften your heart. God is above all, but concerned for those who have nothing, caring for those who are stranded and alone, providing for them. You too, remember when you were immigrants, strangers in Egypt. Let that memory stir compassion in you for the strangers among you. Worship only God. Hang on tightly to God. Praise God. Know that everything wonderful you have seen, God has done. Remember that your ancestors entered Egypt, only 70 of them. And now there are as many of your people as there are stars above. So some of, I know some of that was a little bit confusing. God was talking to a group of people called the Israelites. And you may remember the story. The Israelites used to live in Egypt where they were slaves and they were treated very badly. And God called them out of Egypt and gave them a new land. And now... There are some immigrants moving into their land, some strangers, some people who um, need a home and, and need food and need a place to live. And God is saying, hey, remember how you felt when you were new and when you felt alone and make sure that you take care of these people who need you. God cares very much for people who are hungry and alone and lonely and you may know somebody like that. You may have seen a friend at school, somebody, maybe a new person at school who needed a friend, and you were a friend to them. God loves that. That's what God is telling. That's the kind of behavior God's telling us to do. I have this backpack behind me because our older students at Grace called The Bridge, which some of you will be in next year, they decided to make some backpacks for homeless people. So... Um, not necessarily immigrants who have moved here from another country, but people who don't have a home. And so they packed these backpacks full of stuff that someone who's homeless might really need, like some peanut butter crackers and some water. And let's see what else is in here. Some beef jerky and some lotion. And even some chewing gum. There are all kinds of things in here. There's some chapstick. There's some vitamins. So the bridge group 
was finding a way to be compassionate by packing these bags so that we can give them away. If we're driving by and we see someone who is homeless asking for help, we can share God's love with them by giving them some food and some water and some vitamins and some other things that we need. That's how God wants us to think. How can we help the people in our lives who are feeling kind of yucky? Because God cares about those people a lot and God wants us to show them love. All right, will you close your eyes and bow your head and let's pray together. God, we thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you for the rain that we've had this week. We thank you that you love us, that you have compassion for us. We thank you that you love everybody. We thank you that you especially care about people who are having a hard time and you want us to care about them like you do. So please help us notice today if there's somebody in our family who's having a hard time. When we go back to school, help us notice if there's someone that we think might be feeling lonely. And if we meet anybody who is in need, help us to share and to share your love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, everybody, thank you for joining me for Sunday School today. I hope you find a way to share God's love with someone today, even if it's somebody in your own family, in your own house. All right, I will see you next week. Bye.